gonna keep this video short and sweet. And so will be the same for uh, the Mark 8 Golf R and the 8YS3. So you got your PCM. The only thing you need other than a set of hands, and of course, you know, this stuff is a T25 Torx to get the uh, under tray off, which is just seven screws. And then we'll go through, connect three connectors, then connect it into this, and you're done. If you have a Mark 8, um, I can't really show you that part, but this will sit on top of your battery. You'll see the post that this goes through. This should like clip into something, slam down, and you got this, and this will screw into the nut. If you have, if you're in North America and have an S3, um, we're just gonna have to zip tie it because our battery is in the trunk. So let's get to it. All right, so got the T25. You got one, two, three, four, and on the other side of this. I believe there's three or four. So take those off, drop this down. That way we can access a plug and I'll show you that. All right, so you're back up here, under trays off. You're going for this sensor right here. Right here on this pipe. Looking down, get your oil pan. This right here, you're gonna unplug that and then uh, we'll drop the harness down and connect into that. That is your put sensor, pressure, upstream, throttle sensor. So let me show you guys this real quick. These are security clips and I don't know, these ends have it too. So um, they'll be pressed in at first. So you gotta pull these out of their spot and then you can press on them to release. So it's, the hardest one is gonna be the first one, A, the charge pipe, B, is this um, this loose sensor. And then C, the last one is gonna be your camshaft sensor right there. So you just, just like all these, you're gonna unplug it from where it is, slip in the new male and female ends. Push it into here, click, lock it. And do the other end here. It's probably upside down. It was click done and then tuck it however you like I'm kind of OCD so I'm going to reroute this but and it's all pretty simple Just unplug and plug and then what's kind of cool after I reroute this a little bit better kind of tuck it down looks a little bit cleaner um, on this end so this is just, you slide this lock over and then this comes out. This is the, a dummy plug. You can see it has pins in it. So if you don't want the extra power, so you're going on a road trip and you don't even want to think about wasting the extra fuel or whatever, you just uh, put this plug back in and your car runs as if nothing was ever done. You can also troubleshoot that way. If you think something's um, in, in the racing line box is messing up, you just unplug it, plug this back in, and the car talks to itself as if none of this stuff's even spliced in. Obviously, if you still have an issue after that, then uh, one of your plugs might not be seated or you got some wiring damage or, or something along those lines. But I think that is, is actually really neat. So if someone ever calls you out and say, you know, whatever, you could just unplug this. Or like at Autocross this weekend, if I feel like it's too much power for whatever reason or something, I can just plug this in and we're back to stock. All right, top ones are plugged in there. We're plugged in over here. You can put the engine cover back on and then crawl back under the car and get that last one plugged in. And then we'll figure out how exactly we're gonna clean up this wiring mess and uh, mount the box. So real quick guys, that's why it's always good to have a box of junk. So this little pin that came with it, you're supposed to use for the ECU. I found a screw that fits in to the threads on the bottom. Sorry, I wish I knew what the thread pitch was, but you can go to any store and they'll uh, match it for you. And then two washers. So I lined this up to where I wanted it and drilled a hole through the battery tray right there. Oh, let me get some light for you. Sorry. I'm trying to make this video quick. So drilled a hole. Now I'm going to pop this, the black one through, 
and because it's so long, I need two spacers to get, or two washers to make it the length to reach the end, and then that um, bolt will go in there. Put that through, put that in. It's gonna sit just like that. And I put these two washers and the screw on, and boom, we got our spot. I know this isn't the best angle, but it's what I got with the GoPro. So now we'll pop this bad boy out, throw that in the glove box. Sorry about all the noise. We'll slide her on on. Lock it in. And the wires will just have to hang out like that. Whatever. Looks good in there. I think so. Oh, I gotta record it upside down. Well, there we go. She's in. I need to go change because I'm gonna go meet the old lady for uh, a meeting we got about the houses today, but we'll get the first driving impressions. Some upside down. Get the first driving impressions here. See, I am, it is just so humid. It is not even that hot today. It's just so damn humid. So we get this, uh, get this bad boat back on. I'm going for a ride. You guys can check that out in the next video. Um, drop a thumbs up if you liked the video and look out for the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip flop.